You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens, like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Oh, that's dangerous. I must clear these boxes away. Oh, ouch! Oh, dear. Do you know, I'm almost bumping my head on this boat. I don't know. I'm not sure it's really quite big enough for me. Oof, ouch. I wonder if there's anywhere I could find a really big house, one that's big enough for me. I'll have a look in my book and see. Let's have a look in the footage. Hmm. Oh, yes. My book says, if I go up there, I will find a big house called Shalcut. I'll go and have a look. Get my life jacket on. And all fastened up. And I'm ready to go. if I can find that big house now. Thanks, Duck! We're moving, Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? Let's see. It might be nice to live in a big house instead of a small boat. Jim, he said that he's going to go all the way down here to go and live in a big house. Rosie? Yeah? He said our boat is too small for him. Yeah, but Ragdoll isn't too small. It's just right, aren't you? Yeah, Rosie? Yeah? Maybe Fizzdog doesn't want to live here anymore. Maybe, maybe he's going to go and live in a big, big house. Oh, that tree house looks fun. I bet they don't bump their heads in there. Rosie! Rosie! Yeah? Do you think Fizzgog will go and live in that house up in the trees? Oh, Noggin, that's a house for children to play in. It's far too small for Fizzgog. Oh. <coughs> He's stopping, Rosie. <gasps> My book says that the water isn't deep enough for the rag doll to go up here. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's the way to travel to the place where the big house is. In a little boat, it can go where the water isn't so deep. <gasps> Where's he going to, Jim? <gasps> Rosie! 
He's going, he's going in a little boat. But, but I thought he said he wanted to go and live in a bigger boat. No, Rosie. Yeah? Fizz Dog said he wants to go and live in a bigger house. Oh, no. Jim, we better follow him and see. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> yeah? Fizzgog, Fizzgog is only looking where he's just come from in that little boat. Oh no, Noggin! <laughs> How can he see where he's going? Don't know! <laughs> 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 I wonder where this big house is. It must be near here somewhere. Fisco, careful! There's a great big house behind you! Yeah, Fisco! There's a big house! Stop! Stop! Oh, oh there it is. Oh, dear. My goodness, what a big house. You know, I wouldn't bang my head if I lived in a house like that. I wonder what it would be like to live there. Rosie? Yeah? This dog said he's going to go and live in that big house. But he can't. No, that house is too big for this dog. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good afternoon. Hello. This is a wonderful house, isn't it? It's a very fine house indeed. Can Never. you tell me anything about it, please? Well, yes, it's a big house. It was built a long, long time ago. Rosie? Huh? It's very, 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 very big house. Yeah, Jim, I think that maybe some giants might live in there. Oh, no. So how many people lived here then? Well, there were two families, really, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. fathers and sons, and they had a lot of children. Yeah, yeah. So perhaps even 20 children. 20 at some children? Time. Oh, yes. My yes, goodness yes. me. And where did the children play? Well, they played out here very often. But on the other hand, in recent times, they had their own little house to play in. Really? Yes. They had their own house? Absolutely. Child-sized? Yes. Would you like to see it? I'd love to. Well, come this way. Thank we'll you have very a look. much. Yes. Mm, I think it'd be too big for me. Pity. Phew! Oh, this big house is too big for Fizzgog. Yeah, Fizzgog said it's too big for him. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Come, Come on. on. Oh, so this is the summer house, yes, is it? Yes, this is the children's summer house. Mm -hmm. My goodness me. That's amazing. small. Ooh. Everything wonderful. the right size for children to play in. Yes. Yeah. All the little things. Wonderful. It looks a really cosy place to live. Could we have a look around the outside? Oh, of course you may, yes. Thank you. Come around. Yes. Mm, lovely and cosy in here, Rosie. Rosie? Rosie! 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 Oh, Rosie. Yeah? Fizzgog's just said that this house is all cosy and he's going to come and live here. Oh, oh no! But it's too small, too small, Fizzgog! Too small, too small! Oh! oh. oh. Mm, I think this house is too small for me. And the other one was too big. Yeah! <sighs> Jim, Fiskog said that this one is too small yeah. and the big one is too big. Yeah, and yeah. Rosie, I know the place that we like to live the best. Yeah, where someone loves us most of all. Yeah, Hooray! come on! Come on! What's the matter, Duck? I think I know what's wrong with him, because he said to me that if he would have a house... Well, that was a nice visit. But I'm looking forward to getting back to the good old rag doll. Ducky wants a house... Fish. Too small! <sighs> Ducky wants a house... There. No, that's still too small. Mm. Eee, oh, my doobie, oh, ducky wants... Fish. That's good. Yeah, I'll put that on duck. 
Oh, right over the... Oh, there. There, there you go, Duck. A uh, nice uh, house. Duck has yeah. got a nice new house. Yeah. But, Jim, um, Ducky needs a window. You better go and find him one. Come right. on. Ducky needs a window. There. Too small, Jim. Ducky needs a window. <laughs> Ducky, that's too big. Wow. Hey, oh, my me oh. Ducky needs a window. Yeah, that's perfect. Now put that um, sort of um, there. Jim? Jim? He needs a door now. Oh. You better go and find him one. All right. Ducky needs a door. There. Too small. No. Ducky needs a door. There. Too big. No. Hey, oh, my door, me, oh. Ducky needs a door. That's a good door. That's it. Now, Fred, let's get that there. And where can I put the door? Stick it there. Uh, need to put it sort of about... Yeah. yeah. Rosie? Yeah? Now, Ducky's got a nice house with a window and a nice new door. Yeah, but where's the roof? Jim, we've got to give Ducky's house a roof. You better go and find one. Oh, Come on. no. Ducky needs a roof. Hurry up. Ducky needs a roof. I'm hurrying. Come on. Hey, oh, me, oh. Ducky needs a roof. Uh, how's that? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, now, just oh, lift it up from there. Now, <laughs> that has really got a nice new house. Yeah. Wah. Wah, wah, wah. <gasps> Fizz Gog's coming. Come on. Wait. Hello, Duck. Let's have a look. Oh. That's just the right size for you to go to sleep in. There we are. Good night, duck. Sweet dreams. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the good boat ragdoll. Quack, said Duck. What does Duck want, said Rosie? He wants a house, said Jim, his very own house. We'll make him one, said Rosie. Let's make him a big house, said Jim. Duck slept in his new big house that night. The wind blew and Duck shivered. Quack, quack. He doesn't like his house, said Jim. It's too big, said Rosie. Let's make him a little house, said Jim. Duck went into his little house. There was no room to ruffle his feathers. His tail stuck out of one end. His beaks stuck out of the other. Quack! Quack! He doesn't like this house, said Rosie. It's too little, said Jim. Let's make him a duck-sized house, said Rosie. They put an old blanket in to keep Duck warm. Quack, said Duck. He likes that house, said Jim. It's just the right size, said Rosie. And Duck snuggled down and went to sleep. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, talking along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>